Welcome. Excited to be joined by the superintendent of the Menominee Falls School District. He is David Munoz. David, busy time of year. Thanks for making some time for us. No problem. Thank I want to talk about uh, some cool things going on that happen always this time of year and some important things that are happening. Let's start with an update on the strategic plan. Yeah, the strategic plan, the steering committee has done and completed most of its work. Our uh, steering committee was a group of community members, parents, teachers, um, administrators, um, a pretty good swath of the mm -hmm. community which looked at a lot of information that was provided through surveys and hundreds and hundreds of surveys, mm -hmm. a lot of feedback. We were able to put everything together, that steering committee, which I was a part of, and present something to the board um, that was pretty close to ready mm -hmm. for a strategic plan. We have one more meeting left, um, and then we'll be excited to bring a new strategic plan forward with different pillars that talk about our students they talk mm -hmm. about our staff, mm -hmm. they talk about our community, and then also talk about our finances and fiscal responsibility. So those are our three big buckets mm -hmm. that'll be developed. Um, and in that financial bucket, there was some really good discussion about all the property that ah. the school district of Menominee mm -hmm. Falls owns that mm -hmm. currently doesn't have any, that don't have any buildings mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. So that will be a big piece that we'll have to has some strategy and vision for uh, for the next five years. Uh, the, the 45 acres out at Menominee, uh, sitting on Menominee Avenue property, and then the old TJ's and Hiawatha yeah. property, yeah. about 15 to 16 acres. Right off Menominee Avenue. Right, yeah, over there. So we're sitting on some property that we just need some, some more input on after they approve the strategic plan that'll be something that we'll have to get more input on. What does the community want us to do with all of that property? What is the vision mm -hmm. for the, I mean, there were past ideas years and years yeah. ago about those properties, um, but that'll be one of the big takeaways, um, along with uh, the focus on uh, reading and math and all, you know, these things with our students. Yeah. Um, obviously, safety is going to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're excited about being in the last month or so of developing a good five-year strategic plan uh, for the school district of Menominee Falls. Talk about the importance of collaboration between the board, the community, all the different stakeholders. Yeah, I think it's been really important. I mean, the very last meeting where this was presented, several members of the steering committee, parents, community members, they were just talking directly to the board and the mm -hmm. board had questions for them. And it was, it was a really good um, session. And I think there's gonna probably be one more where we have a, a work session to just continue to ask questions to refine that plan. So it is truly representative of the entire community. I wanna ask you about CE and Rec, a very unique partnership in our village yes. between the school district and CE and Rec that doesn't happen a lot of places. Can you talk about the relationship and then we'll talk a little bit about the project that was approved? Yeah, the community ed and Rec, it's, it's a wonderful relationship. It actually falls under the school district. So the community ed and Rec is, it services our entire community. Mm -hmm. So not students uh, through CE and Rec, but anybody in the entire village who wants to take part in any a number of different programming mm -hmm. activities mm -hmm. from um, some uh, athletic activities, but also board games. And I saw bingo one day yeah. going on and different groups of 55, 65, 75 year old. You know, I met with a group of about 100 or so just to have a conversation mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. this project that is now approved to expand that facility, to expand that facility. So years ago, 10, 20 years ago, whenever it was, um, C and Rec, I mean, it used to be part of the village or run by the village in right. some way, shape, or right. form. So years ago, that was taken over by the district. That isn't common around the state, but it is part of what we do as mm -hmm. a school district here for the community as a whole. And we're excited about it. We're excited about the expansion we're gonna add a gym. Wow. We're gonna add an indoor walking space. That's great. And make it so that it's it's usable during the day. Because currently the gym is it's shared with Riverside right. and it's not necessarily usable uh, by members of the community who aren't students during the school day for obvious reasons. So we're gonna create an environment that's completely separate, uh, expanded and brand new, and all on one level because part of the current CEN rec 
is actually on a lower level. Yeah, there's stairs. Yeah, there's not easy to navigate. It's not easy to get there. So those sorts of things are going to change. And then we're also going to make new the Quest program, which is an alternative mm -hmm. education program that does run in the CE and Rec building. But we're going to make that a better facility, a new facility with easier access to the outside. So we're excited about the relationship and very thankful for the school board's approval um, of this multi-million dollar project. I love it. That's exciting. Nice job getting that done, by the way. That's a great project for the school, for the community, for everybody involved. Let's celebrate a little bit as we head into the end of the school year. You have a special middle school teacher that yeah. we want to give a little shout out yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. The Milwaukee Brewers uh, reached out and she's teacher of the month. Wow, Kim, that's cool. Yeah, Kim Anderson. So if you go on the Milwaukee Brewers website, yeah. so we have some things out on our social media as well. She's an eighth grade science teacher over at the middle school. She really does an amazing job. And uh, I think it's great to celebrate our teachers all the time. We have amazing teachers and amazing educational staff in the school district, but it's, it's really sp uh, special as well when one of our mm -hmm. biggest uh, uh, local professional sports teams is recognizing uh, Kim Anderson that's in the awesome. same way. So if you go out on the Milwaukee Brewers website, you'll see her out there. And I think that's really great. Uh, she's just a wonderful teacher, a wonderful person, um, and we're great. Uh, very thankful for having her uh, be part of all of our students' lives at uh, uh, North Middle School. That is cool. And we're going to be celebrating our graduates. They'll be graduating from the middle school. They'll be moving on from the elementary school. But let's talk about high school graduation. Yeah. Graduation. How's graduation shaping up? Yeah, it looks really great. I mean, there's a lot of planning. I'm going there right after this to check up on a lot of these end-of-year activities with seniors. A lot of the seniors are doing showcases of yeah. all their multiple events. Um, it was there was an art showcase yesterday. I was at a, a healthcare academy showcase, and I was talking to all these seniors, not mm -hmm. just about their showcases, mm -hmm. but also graduation. They said to make sure that my speech wasn't that long, <laughs> and I said, "Don't worry, it'll be under five minutes." And they said, like, "We'll hold you to that." I'm like, "Okay," but we had some good conversations. About, they're excited. The seniors are excited. We're coming into graduation, which is that last day of school for the whole district. Um, is when graduation mm -hmm. is. So it's still a couple mm -hmm. weeks out here, uh, but we're in heavy planning for that in terms of the speeches and all the different things, not, not, not mine. Because yours is going to be five mine, minutes or less. Mine will be five minutes or less. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of others in, in recognition of our seniors, recognition of the class of 2024, just having a, there's going to be over $400,000 in local money Wow. Uh, scholarships being given away next week. That's the, great. Over $400,000 next, uh, next week um, of dollars being given away to this senior class. Wow. Which is outstanding. It's amazing. Uh, it's a very giving community, and it's a community that recognizes that, hey, this is a wonderful class yeah. and a wonderful school district. So we'll be excited to celebrate that next week for this group. Um, so, yeah, this That's is, fantastic. there's a lot of celebrations with this uh they're signing pennants today. Uh, that's yeah. Where, that's where I'm going right after yeah. this. So that excitement and that energy that comes with moving to that next phase um, and yeah. being done with 12 years or 13 years of public education. It's a um, big deal. Some of them mostly right here in the school district of Menominee Falls. So it's really fun to talk to those seniors about the next thing in their lives. You know, some are going right into the military. Some yeah. are going into the workforce. Many are going to college, and some are in internships already. The, the number of students that we already have with full-time jobs mm -hmm. ready to go. It's impressive. It's very impressive. Um, I was at a presentation with a, a group at what's called GPS Ed. It's a program we work with uh, with several of our students. We have many others, mm -hmm. but uh, work-based programs and school-to-work type programs through FBLA and other yeah. organizations that we're deeply involved yeah. in. And you can just see that our, our students are connected to college, but also connected to work, military, and other um, pursuits immediately after high school. So it's exciting to see. Hey, I know legacy is important to you. Let's talk about honoring retirees. You've got retirees being honored coming up at the board meeting. Yeah, we have eight retirees right now uh, that we're looking at. And, and of those eight retirees, I think I counted 180 years of wow. combined educational experience. Holy cow. And it, that's not all teacher. I think it's three or four teachers, you know, building and grounds, you know, multiple different organizations to run a school district. 
Um, there's building and grounds, there's food service, you know, educational assistance, you know, the list goes on, nurses. Yeah. You know, in order to actually have a school district run, of course you need teachers and principals, but you also need a whole bunch of other people to make sure the whole thing is, you know, run, yeah. run office staff, uh, that kind of thing. So it's exciting to be able to honor them in 180 years. You That's incredible. Yeah, it's, an, it's an incredible. It's a testament to, you know, I'm 25 years in public education, but, you know, it's not, I know one of them, it, it was uh, over 30 years, you know, wow. just with one. So it's exciting to look at it for them because they look at things a lot like our senior class. Mm -hmm. They're excited about mm -hmm. uh, retirement, but also what they do next, yeah. which I think is standard in today's retirement environment. It's like, okay. Like you ask them their plans right after retirement and they start smiling about yeah. this trip or this job. The this next new, step, the next chapter for them. I'm starting this new job as a consultant, you know, all these wonderful things. And, and it's great. It's, you know, to have you see, there, there is a, a definite connection between seniors graduating from high school mm -hmm. and educators mm -hmm. um, at whatever level, um, serving so many years, 180 combined years uh, and then moving to the next phase of their life. Yeah, their next know? chapter. And I think retirement is sometimes a tough word to use, but yeah. it's really it's really moving to what wh wh what are you going now? Where yeah. are you you know just like seniors, they're graduating. But what's the next thing? And that, <clears throat> I like that approach. That's a good approach. Uh, David Munoz is the superintendent here in Menominee Falls. Great to catch up. Lots of great things happen in the district. Thank you, David. Thank you. Always good to catch up. You bet. Thank you.